Where you going, buddy? You're supposed to deflate and go down. Hit the descend button. Yep, that one. Turn diving in front. Turn diving everywhere. Oh, look at the school of bait right there. Take a left. That school of bait. Very nice bird fishing. Can you see him right past the shark, Corey? Keep going. Not a bad start. Uh oh. Puts on the deck. There we go. All right. Here we go. Got some bait. Not a bad start. I'm gonna try to throw a few more times, and then we're gonna keep going. Got something a little different. I'm off on a nice day. For once, I got some out of towners, some up northerners, some Kentuckiers. Some Floridians. I got my buddy from college, Corey, and his girlfriend, Emery, who's behind the camera. We're gonna go offshore. Enough of me talking, let's try to catch some more bait here. We'll see you out there. Are we floating? Emery's slacking. Nah, we're good on, we're, we're good, you can leave it right there. I was just making a Hail Mary. We're definitely floating because I'm pulling us. The boat is moving with the cast net. Can you bump us? You're, you're open. Yeah. Yeah, if you can bump us up. Or take a left, do what you can. They look so thick, but they're just kind of running. They're all sandy keys too, which is like a version of a pilcher. They work, I guess? They work, they just, uh, they're not as lively, you know? All right, let's try that again. Right, yeah, look at the pool right here. Now we go fishing. We got some big, uh... there we go. All right, we are set on bait. Beautiful. All right, you saw it, we're set on bait. I don't know what we're doing. I got no plans. All I know is it's never nice enough on my days off to go offshore. He fishes offshore. That's like his gig. They fish offshore big time up in Cape Canaveral. Kind of the reason why I like him because he fishes. <laughs> I ain't got no idea what we're doing. We're gonna let the bait decide. We caught some bitty, pretty big baits and some pretty, uh, we got some good ones. We got some razors, so they're gonna be nice and lively when we put them down. They're pretty big. I don't know, let's go drift for a month. And we'll see what happens, no promises. We'll see you guys out there. Like I said, we're gonna go do some drifting for muttons. We're about here, about, oh, we got a double. Reel on it, reel on it. Reel on it, pick it up, pick it up. Still on, yeah, it's on. I think we got a fish on. Well, I think Corey's is pretty small. Emery's looks a little bit bigger. Anyways, 
This is Corey Scheidel. We're friends from college, UCF. We both graduated from UCF. Uh oh, right. here comes the leader. Get on him. <laughs> Get on him. <laughs> I'll take the ride. All right, this might get a little hectic here. Oh, it's another shark. We've already got one shark. Corey's got a shark on. All right, just let that guy go and come grab her leader when it comes up. All right, we're, uh, here comes Corey. You got it? Let's see, let's see. Another shark. Deviled up on the sharks. Oh, uh, it's a shark. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at that, double up baby on some sharks. All right, not what we're going for. <laughs> bye bye. You think you got one on there? Oh yeah, you got one on there. <laughs> Lift up, fight him, baby, <laughs> fight him. Don't let him yeah, that. Do I have one on? We don't know. But the hit just took off, drag screaming. It's hard. There's there's a ten ounce weight, but look at that thing go. She's got one on now. Just keep it tight, Emery. Just keep it tight. Hopefully this is the big mutton we were looking for. I don't do a whole lot of this fishing offshore as far as drifting for muttons. I do a little bit on the, the patch reefs, um, but this is kind of something that I want to get into and get real consistent on. Corey, you're going to put down the rod holder for now and come grab her leader when you get a chance, the minute that weight comes up. So the minute you get to the weight, Emery, yeah. swing it to Corey. So here comes your weight, you're going to swing it and then Corey's going to handline it. And then Corey, it's going to be a lot easier if you just dump the leader into the, get, lift up, lift up, keep it tight, keep it tight. It's gonna be a lot easier if you just let the leader go back into the water. It's turning funny. Dark. It's dark. Uh oh. Oh no! What the hell? He broke it, and it was it, it was big. It was large. Let's just say that, and it's gone now. All right, but it was a fish. Teethy. Do you think teethy? Yeah. Teethy, mackerel. Maybe, I don't know. Listen, three sharks, maybe a mackerel. We gotta get another bait in the water. Let's do it. There's some stuff busting over there. You can, I don't know if you can see the charter boats way back there. We got the Island Rod of Sailfish tournament going on today. A lot of charter boats cruising the reef looking for some billfish. Anyways, I gotta tie a hook back. All right, so the mutton fishing wasn't really working for us. We went out offshore. We had like a nice slow drift. We went out and drifted pretty deep. Um, caught a couple sharks. The sharks were all over us. It's already pretty late in the afternoon. We didn't leave the dock till after 12 o'clock. Um, so we went and did the mutton thing, wasn't working out so well, caught a couple sharks, and now we can't, ran into a couple shallow patch reefs. We're actually sitting at the same patch reef that I went and fished with Caroline, which that video will be right here for you guys to click on. Ran in here just to get tight on some fish. We don't have many much daylight left. Got into a nice grouper right off the bat. The goal was just to get on some fish. Let's see if we can't catch a few more fish for dinner. We already got a nice grouper in the box. Let's see if we can't keep it rolling here. Of course, Corey has still not caught a fish. <laughs> Emery has. I'm not fishing. I'm just I'm just YouTubing over here. I'm just doing what I do. Uh-oh. That looked like a bump, right? Corey's getting bumped right now. Let's see if he can't hook a fish on camera. Unless he's already on there. Wow, it is actually really hot out today. Uh, yeah. Well, you're from Kentucky. You should be sweating. He ain't from Kentucky. He's actually from Orlando. That's where he was born and raised, and that's where I met him when I was in school. Um, we had a cold front come through about a week ago. It was very cold for a good while, but today it's slick calm out. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous out, and uh, it's hot. All right, yeah, Corey can't hook a fish. Emery, take the rod again. Oh, it's a big grouper. Corey, we're gonna need a net. <laughs> We're gonna need a net. Here you go, Corey. That's probably what got her the first time. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a stud. That's a stud. Awesome. Big red grouper. Look at that. That looks like a keeper. That thing is gorgeous. Pretty sweet. Good job, Emery. Corey still has not caught anything at all. Emery's been catching them. Let's measure this guy, make sure it's grouper season, make sure he's big enough. We're gonna find out here in a minute and let you know whether he's going in the box or not. Yeah, baby. There you go. All right, we gotta walk him up to the front. Keep him low, that way if he does fall, he falls into the boat. Yeah, fish that rig, right up here. Let's go ahead and just measure him real quick. Lay him on that thing. You got, you got him good, right? Yeah. All right, go ahead and lay him on there. Put his head at zero. 
Is that zero? Yeah. Good? Look at that. He's big enough. It's grouper season. That's a nice red grouper right there. We're throwing him in the box. All right, Emery, come on. Let's take him to the bag. Yeah. Oh, first, got to get a picture. My bad. There we go. All right. Cool. Nice grouper. Now we got to go in the box. It's a very big box, okay? Box. All right. We eating the night, baby. See you later. All right, let's see if we can't get another one here. If you guys look, the ballyhoos have showed up pretty thick back there. Lots of ballyhoos. I ain't throwing a net on them today. We've only been here a couple minutes, maybe. Corey just missed a fish. Corey caught a fish. It's huge. Monster. That's the size of the bait. <laughs> All right, he's going back. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. That thing is gone. <laughs> See that? Can you see that? Look at that. Look how clear it is. It's about the nicest day we've had in months. I mean, we're pretty shallow right now, but that's about as clear as it gets. All right, listen. I think you know where we're at. Oh, turtle, turtle, turtle. All right. I don't know if you can see him. He's right there. Probably bad glare. Ah, he gone. He turtle's not a fan of the camera. All right, listen. It's clear. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's island rod. It's the Florida Keys. We went out, wanted to catch a fish. We went drifting for some muttons. That went all right. <laughs> went to the reef. Emery caught a grouper, the yeah. only person to catch a fish, and it was a stud. That thing's in the box, dead. It's gonna be for dinner. Anyways, you know where we're at. This is the part where we say goodbye. We appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button, smash that like button. I did this video, even though we only caught one fish, just kind of exploring and whatnot. We got a real nice grouper. Left late in the afternoon, made it happen, blah, blah, blah. Had a great time. Nonetheless, we're out of here. Say goodbye. We'll see you next time. Take it easy.